Hi, I hope you're doing really good. I am finally in the garden. My green still got here and I'm going to go ahead and open it and get ready to start planting. I bought two green stalks. I can't even <laughs> believe that I bought two more. So I have a total of three. Um, I mentioned before that I was super excited that I found where to place them. I have two that are new that I'm going to put all my salad greens and then I have one that's my older one. And that one, I'm not gonna get it ready yet. It's the one that's gonna hold my peppers and some micro tomatoes. So I wanna show you exactly what I'm gonna be growing on it to add color and interest that I grew from seed. I wanted to show you what the green stock brought. Look how cute. It gives you, who was it that packed your care bag? <laughs> that is so cute. And one of the green ones inside it brought these cute stickers i love this one with the little flowers oh my gosh it's so cute it's party time these are adorable let's grow oh i love this one the beat <gasps> If you don't know, remember Fred, I'm a fan of frogs. How cute. I love them, so I'm gonna do something with these for sure. And then they give you open me, green stock setup instructions. And this is not sponsored, I bought these myself. And inside of it, you get a little thank you, you get some seeds, I got I think what did I get basil on the other one and cilantro on this one which is great because I got to start my cilantro all over again and then vertical planter instructions and it tells you what you can grow and how to set it up so I think this is really really good the way they did this I'm super impressed so let's get going and go work on the green stuck I'm working on this section of the home. It's right next to my terrace and right next to the coop. I have quails in there and that's Bertha. Bertha, Betty, and there's Oreo in the back. <laughs> but I'm trying to level this. I put sand down and then large pavers. I think these are 18 by 18. And then this swivel thing for the green stock I'm gonna do two of them so these spinners they seem so much better look how easy the other one was really hard it was real thin I'll show you the old one this is the old swivel and you can see it was a lot thinner and it really was it's always been kind of rough to get her around so you can see like it's not the same at all the new one is amazing compared to this but I placed some rocks on the corners so if the sand starts going away, there's something holding. So I did that on each one of the corners and I'll make sure it was all level. So I wanted to leave a little gap in between that was enough so that when the vegetables grew and they weren't on top of each other, I'm feeling like it should be closer to the left, but I don't want to get it too close to them. So we'll see how this works. I do have a hydrangea here, so I may have to control the hydrangea from growing towards this. So that would be a challenge. I could make the hydrangea a tree if I wanted to, but we'll see. Um, I'll see after this year how it go how this whole thing works. But I'm gonna start assembling everything and getting the soil ready because I have so many seedlings to plant. I'm going to follow what I did on my original green stock when it comes to the compost. I'm using my fish compost that you always hear me talk about. It works really well, so I filled up the containers a third of the way up. I placed a small piece of tape so that it will be easier to pour the soil and it won't go into the bottom. This made it so much quicker to fill this in without having to worry about that little hole. 
I decided to use what Green still suggests, which is the Fox Farm Happy Frog. It has everything that you need and I think it would work really, really well for these green stalks. I have used this soil to all pop my seedlings and compare them to any other soil and they grew so well. So I know it will be incredible on this. As I was assembling each layer of this basket weave design, which is their new design, I realized how much easier it is to put together. I don't know what changed, but I think the design makes it so much easier to put together each layer. If you have enjoyed the video so far and found value, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel. You know I have quails and my one quail called Oreo laid her first blue egg of the season. Look how pretty that is. They're so tiny but they're beautiful. They're super nutritious. I will link a a blog post that talk about the nutrition, how good they are for you. Aren't they beautiful? I love these black and white ones, they're pretty. But they all vary so much. Like that blue one. I was so excited to see that she laid it. Bertha has been sick and I'm not sure what is wrong with her, but I'm keeping her indoors for a day and through the night to make sure that she improves. It makes me really sad because this is my original quail and I'm attached to this mama bird. Vertical gardening changes so much in my garden. I have a small garden and adding these green stalk has allowed me to grow so much. I really love them. They're easy to set up. Um, and it's a little bit of effort when it comes to the soil, but as far as setting up, it's super easy to assemble. And you can grow so much within one green stalk that it has made me have three already. And I would probably keep adding more if I found the space. The top was also so easy to put together compared to the old version. I just love the new version. I wanted to show you that one of them has this basket weave, the one that has the larger pockets. And I put this one next to the window because that way you see something really nice. So I ordered this by accident. I did not know that I had ordered the one with basket weave but I do really like it from inside the house. Okay, so I had to stop gardening because the rain started again. So I had enough time to set up the green stock and what I'll do is I'll do a second video this week and show you everything that I planted on it this Saturday. Hopefully there'll be a sunny day coming up. So for now, I think I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go buy some plants I've been wanting to buy. So I'm going to go to two nurseries and I'll take you with me so you can see some items that I'll be buying and maybe get some inspiration. <laughs> I 
I love the simple baskets. I love to add little details in a garden that just makes it feel super cozy and cottage-like, but I still like sort of the modern versions that they have of baskets. When I saw this peony, I began to think, I have to make space for one, so I may actually find more space in my front yard to be able to add one of these, but it may be next year when I do this. This is what is important, is to go to places that inspire you. Look at these beautiful ones. I want to create them so badly. And look at the color of this with the table right next to it. It made me rethink my green table. And I don't know, this may be something that I do in my own garden. Take a look on your garden nurseries because sometimes they have a little corner where they're selling damaged plants. And this could be in the local nurseries or even the box stores. I didn't buy any because I didn't see anything I needed. And to me, if they were 50 cents or a dollar for what the shape they were in, I would have gotten them. But it's good if you're running out of time and need some plants that you haven't been able to grow yourself or buy anywhere else, this works. Look at the textures of the wood and the flowers. It brings such a sense of peace to a space. I love to add sculptures and things that just bring a story into where I'm living my everyday life. <laughs> 